Oh, Mother Africa, what has bedeviled you? What has become of home? What has become of the independence that was got by our forefathers? What has become of home that we all ran to Europe hoping for better lives? What has become of home, Mother Africa? As a Pan-Africanist and someone who cares so much about the African cause, lately I have traveled across Europe for a purpose to see what has become of the Africans who are migrating to Europe. As you may be aware, the number of Africans migrating to Europe is now 446,000 immigrants every year. And according to the BBC, we now have 7 to 8 million illegal immigrants in Europe. I want to tell you what's going on here. The picture is not as rosy as you see in the movies, as you see in the Hollywood style movies. The picture is not as rosy as you see in the West African movies where people say they are coming to America, they are coming to London, they are going to France. The picture is not that rosy. I have seen there are two types of Africans in Europe. Those who come here legally and have been gainfully employed, this category come through education, they come for professional work, and they stay here three, four, five, six, seven years before your papers are right and you are allowed to work, that category forms less than 3% of the blacks in Europe and America. But what is very disturbing that would give any sane person sleepless nights is the number of illegal immigrants in Europe. You people out there in Africa, if you want to make the first step to come to Europe, to stay here, to make it, please listen to this. One, the European countries and the American countries have taken a common position on African illegal immigrants because they are overwhelmed. One, if you come here, you are not given a work permit you will not be given a work permit. There are public centers I have seen, public dormitories, where they give you where to stay and clean water to bathe and full stop. No work, no education, no health, no public transport, nothing. Listen to me, those of you out there who want to make it to Europe, the pictures they are sending you of the flamboyant buildings, of the nice buildings like you see. People go to car bonds and take pictures and tell you everything is right in Europe. No. If you come to Europe illegally, you will not be allowed to work anywhere. If anyone employs you, they will find that person 10,000 euros. They will take that person, that organization that employs you, to prison. Take note of this. The countries with the biggest number of black Africans and majorly illegal immigrants and what they call here economic refugees, all these European countries have taken a joint position because they are overwhelmed of the number of Africans coming to Europe. So please, if you are there and you still want to make that journey, think twice. And the biggest number of Africans that are in Europe are majorly coming from Nigeria, South Africa, Ghana, Cameroon, Somalia, and their major entry routes are in Libya and Morocco. They cross the Mediterranean and come here. This is a Pan-African is talking. The situation here is not rosy. Now, what is happening to the Africans who have made it to Europe? One, they are staying off the radar. The government here provides nothing. There are public dormitories where they sleep. So what is happening here? Many Africans are starving. They are sleeping hungry. They are sleeping in train tunnels. They don't get proper medication. They are involved in illegal trades. 
life is hard you cannot even get a phone line unless you have a national identity card number you cannot get a travel card unless you have a national identity card you cannot get health insurance unless you have a national identity card so the africans are sleeping in tunnels they are selling items at train stations this is a highly capitalistic society if i'm to send these streets you'll say oh, oh i want to go to europe but you cannot access any of these buildings it's private you cannot access any of these buildings you cannot access the train you cannot access the public transport because everything is paid for and before you pay for it you have to be a legal stayer in europe and to make matters worse if you decide to come back to the country you have to go through the airport they need a valid travel document a valid visa if not you get arrested so we have a situation where we now have internally displaced persons in Europe and America who cannot come home. Many have run mad. There is no social protection. Something has to be done. Please, before you think of coming here, listen to what I'm telling you. It is not easy. The impression that when you come to Europe, you just come to collect money. No. No, they are also European beggars, they are American beggars in the streets. They are homeless Europeans in the streets. So why would the government go to settle Africans when they cannot settle their own? And even when you come as an illegal immigrant, there is a percentage of people who get clearance, who get lucky and get papers. But that would take five to seven years. And when they give you papers, they give you for one year. After one year, they extend for two years. After two years, they extend for five years. No one is given permanent residency, as you are being told. 90% of people living here are living on papers with timeline and expansions. So please, before you think of selling your granary, of mortgaging your land in the bank that you are coming for better lives in Europe, no, forget about the pictorial impression being created by those already here. 900,000 Africans have already died trying to cross the Mediterranean. Please think twice. Our governments, please, they use, we need to create opportunities for youth in Africa. We need to sensitize the people that the picture is not rosy. Not that when you come to Europe you start collecting money and be rich. In law we say you don't use an exception to make general rules. The few exceptions exceptional people that came to Europe and made it took 10, 20 years to make it. There is need for massive sensitization. We are losing a whole generation of Africans here. Many are running mad as you can see the picture. The stress, the fatigue. No one talks to you. Each one minds their own business. My next discussion will be how to correctly come to Europe how to rightly get yourself to Europe and how to make it in Europe. But for now, if you want to come here illegally, prepare yourself for nine to ten years of being in the displaced person's camp. And I've met Africans who have been denied refugee status and they have to be deported to their countries. They have taken your fingerprints. You want to live outside the radar, outside the network, you will never gain meaningful employment. Stop those rosy dreams. It is not rosy. Many think if they come here and get married, one of my future videos will show the procedures of people who get married, the do's and don'ts, and the percentage of those who have succeeded. Thank you for watching. Please share.